to Saudi Arabia. The holy city of Mecca is witnessing uh, massive storms, lightning strikes, videos showing pilgrims being dragged away by the powerful force of the winds, electricity poles leaning over roads. A single perfect storm isn't enough to bring in swarms of locusts of this size. It takes a series of them, something that used to be really rare in this area. Kaaba is said to be in a state of chaos, as Muslim faithful run helter-skelter following the turnout of strange occurrences. Pilgrims who went there to pray have been left confused as supernatural events, such as locust infestations and catastrophic storms, have left them seeking refuge and safety. However, these mysterious occurrences have made many wonder about the possible reasons why it is happening, and most importantly, why it is happening at this time. Some have even doubted the existence of Kaaba, inciting a plot twist in the story. But what could be wrong with Kaaba, and what is the significance of these strange happenings? Keep watching to find out. Where is Kaaba, and what happens there? The Kaaba is a sacred structure at the heart of Islam and stands in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Long before the birth of Islam, the Kaaba held significance as a revered sanctuary. Legend has it that the prophet Abraham and his son Ishmael were tasked with building this house of worship. As the story goes, the Kaaba was established as a symbol of unity and devotion to the one true God. Fast forward, Kaaba is surrounded by the hills of Safa and Marwa. Each year, millions of Muslims embark on the pilgrimage known as Hajj, a journey to the Kaaba that symbolizes unity, equality, and the submission of one's will to God. Interestingly, the Kaaba is a cubic structure of granite draped in a black silk and gold curtain known as the Kiswa. The black color represents the humility and simplicity of the Islamic faith, reminding believers of their shared humanity and equality before God. At the cornerstone of the Kaaba lies the sacred black stone, believed by Muslims to have been given to Prophet Abraham by the Archangel Gabriel. Pilgrims worldwide strive to touch or kiss this stone during Hajj, emulating the actions of Prophet Muhammad as part of the rituals. The Kaaba is not merely a physical structure, but a focal point for Muslims during their daily prayers. Muslims face the Kaaba when performing their Salah wherever they are, fostering a sense of connection and unity among the global Muslim community. So, as the spiritual epicenter of Islam, the Kaaba's significance transcends its physical presence. It serves as a compass for the Muslim world, guiding believers in their devotion and reinforcing the concept of Tawheed, the oneness of God. Consequently, the annual Hajj pilgrimage unfolds in Kaaba as a breathtaking spectacle. Pilgrims clad in simple white garments, symbolic of purity and equality, converge upon Mecca. The atmosphere is charged with spiritual energy as people from diverse backgrounds unite in worship, erasing race, nationality, and social status distinctions. Pilgrims circle the Kaaba seven times in a counterclockwise direction, a ritual that symbolizes humanity's unity in worshiping one God. The story of Kaaba is said to be laced with tales of devotion and miracles. It is said that when Prophet Muhammad and his followers reclaimed Mecca, he cleansed the Kaaba of idols and rededicated it to worship the one true God. The Kaaba became a beacon of monotheism, echoing the legacy of Abraham. It is a testament to resilience, having undergone various historical reconstructions due to natural disasters and conflicts. Each rebuilding, guided by a commitment to preserve the site's sanctity, reinforces the Kaaba's enduring importance. However, recently, there has been chaos in Kaaba due to strange happenings in the region. But what is happening in Kaaba and what does it mean? Saudi Arabia's Mecca, home to Islam's holiest sites, has seen extreme storms and rain that affected pilgrims, shuttered schools, and caused chaotic scenes. Pilgrims doing the tawaf, circling the Kaaba, got soaked and slipped on the floor as heavy rains thrashed and carried objects around. As the rare scenes unfolded at the giant black cube towards which all Muslims pray, another bolt of lightning struck the iconic Fairmont Maka Clock Royal Tower Hotel and illuminated the night sky. Climate change affects the overall atmospheric and oceanic conditions that definitely then impacts the 
the strength and the impact of any particular weather event. It all began with an unexpected turn of nature, a flood that swept through the surroundings of the Kaaba. The usually dry terrain of Mecca transformed into a rushing river, challenging the strength of the sacred site. Pilgrims and locals alike were taken aback by the force of the water, which seemed to defy the dry environment that typically characterized the region. Still battling with the influx of water, a locust invasion happened just when they thought they had seen it all. Swarms of these voracious insects descended upon the region, threatening crops, livelihoods, and the very essence of daily life. Historically associated with biblical plagues, locusts became an unexpected presence in the sacred city. But just when it seemed nature had presented its most formidable challenges, the skies above Mecca unleashed a series of catastrophic storms. Thunder roared, lightning buzzed across the horizon, and rain fell in torrents. The elements joined forces, creating a storm that echoed through the valleys surrounding the Kaaba. Conditions appeared similar to a 2015 storm that felled a crane at the Grand Mosque or the Masjid al-Haram, the mosque enclosing the vicinity of the Kaaba, killing more than 100 people and injuring hundreds more. Consequently, the Mecca regional government had said that schools would be closed in parts of Mecca, with classes to be held on an e-learning platform, which he said is in the interest of everyone's safety. An eyewitness and Mecca resident, Abu Mayada, told the AFP news agency that he was out buying cigarettes and petrol when everything went black in front of him as the worst storm hit. Another resident, Yusuf, said they usually expect strong winds during this period. Still, the recent one was the worst he could remember. However, the recent events at the Kaaba have sparked confusion and speculation about their natural or spiritual significance. One such is the sound of the Quran recitation, the recitation of the Quran in the Kaaba, Islam's holiest sanctuary located in Mecca, holds profound significance in the hearts of Muslims. When pilgrims approach the Kaaba, one of the most cherished acts is to recite the Quran while in its sacred proximity. The Quran, considered the literal word of God as revealed to Prophet Muhammad, is the holy scripture of Islam, guiding believers in matters of faith, morality, and conduct. For pilgrims who undertake the sacred journey to Mecca, reciting the Quran near the Kaaba is a moment of profound personal connection with their faith. It symbolizes the culmination of their spiritual journey and a rare opportunity to stand near the sacred structure. Reciting the Quran in the Kaaba is a deeply spiritual and symbolic act. It represents a direct connection between the believer and the divine, as the words of the Quran are believed to be a direct revelation from Allah. The act of recitation within the precincts of the Kaaba enhances the sense of spiritual presence and devotion. Consequently, during Ramadan, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar, the Kaaba witnesses an influx of worshippers engaging in extended prayers and Quranic recitation. Laylat al-Qadr, the night of power, is another special occasion when believers strive for spiritual closeness through recitation. Interestingly, Recitation in the Kaaba is not merely a ritual, but an opportunity for deep spiritual reflection. Believers often ponder the meanings of the verses, seeking guidance, solace, and a profound connection with Allah. So the sound of Quranic recitation in the Kaaba is a transformative experience that transcends mere auditory perception. There have, however, been speculations, and the mysterious events at the Kaaba in Mecca have left many people wondering if it goes beyond the hands of nature towards something more spiritual and mysterious. The happenings have been said to be a pointer to the sign of the end times, especially because of the details of these strange occurrences. But are these indeed a sign of the end times? Or are they just mere natural occurrences? But how are the floods, storms, and locust infestation a sign of end times? Sit tight as we unravel the mysteries surrounding each one. The concept of floods as a sign of the end times is a theme that reverberates across various belief systems. Many religious traditions, including Christianity and Islam, contain narratives that associate catastrophic floods with eschatological events marking the culmination of human history. Let's look at the Islamic perspective on signs of the end times. In Islam, 
The signs of the end times, known as the signs of the hour or Ashrat as saa are described in both the Quran and the sayings of Prophet Muhammad. These signs are classified into minor and significant, each containing specific events and occurrences. While interpretations may differ, some Islamic scholars point to the relevance of natural disasters, including floods, as potential signs of the approaching end times. So in the context of floods as possible signs of the end times, some scholars reference prophetic traditions that allude to natural disasters as precursors to major eschatological events. While specific references to floods are not explicit in all prophetic traditions, broader mentions of earthquakes, turmoil, and chaos are found in various hadiths. The Quran contains verses that describe cosmic and natural phenomena as signs of the hour. In Surah al ankabut 29, 41, Allah says, The example of those who take allies other than Allah is like that of the spider who takes a home. More so, hadiths attributed to Prophet Muhammad include descriptions of earthquakes, trials, and tumultuous events as precursors to the end times. Anas bin Malik reported that the Prophet said the hour will be established once earthquakes are widespread. So, interpreting floods as signs of the end times involves considering the symbolism embedded in the narratives. Floods, known for their transformative power and ability to cleanse, can be seen as metaphors for the purification and renewal of the earth before the final reckoning. The uproar caused by floods may symbolize the challenges and tribulations that precede the ultimate resolution of human history. Consequently, recent happenings including natural disasters or significant events in Mecca would be a subject of profound reflection for believers. Suppose floods or other calamities were to occur. In that case, the interpretative lens through which these events are viewed may lead some to speculate their alignment with end-time prophecies. The flood is a profound and symbolic motif that stretches across the pages of the Old and New Testaments. Central to this narrative is the story of Noah's Ark, an epic tale of divine judgment, human survival, and the covenant between God and humanity. However, within the biblical perspective, the flood holds a dual significance, as both a historical event and a sign of eschatological consequence, pointing towards the end times. Humanity's corruption and wickedness climax as the narrative unfolds, compelling God to embark on divine intervention. In response to the prevailing evil, God chooses Noah, a righteous man, to build an ark that would serve as a vessel of salvation for himself, his family, and a remnant of each kind of animal. The floodwaters unleashed as an instrument of divine judgment, engulfed the earth, cleansing it of corruption and initiating a new chapter in human history. So, in the New Testament, particularly in the teachings of Jesus and the writings of the apostles, there are references to the days of Noah and the flood as a symbolic sign pointing towards the end times. Here, Jesus draws a parallel between the unsuspecting nature of people in the days of Noah and the conditions that will precede his second coming. The flood now foreshadows the impending day of judgment when God intervenes in human history. Let's see the infestation of locusts as a sign of the end times. The swarming of locusts has often been associated with the end times. While interpretations may vary across religious and cultural contexts, the symbolism of locust infestations carries deep historical and biblical roots. In examining the connection between locusts and eschatological significance, we'll explore the broader narratives within the Judeo-Christian tradition while considering the potential relevance to recent occurrences near the sacred Kaaba in Mecca. The mention of locusts in a prophetic context is notably found in the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament. One of the most clear depictions occurs in the book of Joel, where a locust invasion is a metaphor for divine judgment and the impending day of the Lord. Interestingly, the biblical narrative employs locusts as instruments of divine wrath, unleashed upon disobedient nations due to their actions. In Exodus, locusts are one of the plagues inflicted upon Egypt as a means of pressuring Pharaoh to release the Israelites. Also, the New Testament, particularly the Book of Revelation, contributes to the eschatological symbolism of locusts. In Revelation 9, 1, 3, the fifth trumpet sounds, unleashing a plague of locusts upon the earth. These locusts, different from ordinary ones, 
are described as having a scorpion-like ability to inflict torment, emphasizing their supernatural and apocalyptic nature. However, in recent times when locust swarms encroach upon regions, including those near the sacred Kaaba in Mecca, believers may inevitably reflect on the eschatological implications. In Islamic eschatology, there are references to locusts as signs of the end times. However, these are not explicitly connected to events at the Kaaba. Drawing on prophetic sayings, hadiths attributed to Prophet Muhammad, Islamic tradition includes descriptions of various signs that will precede the Day of Judgment. In one hadith found in Sahih Muslim, Prophet Muhammad mentioned the emergence of a creature resembling the ant, carrying the staff of Moses, and the return of the people of Gog and Magog. While locusts are not explicitly mentioned in this context, the hadith underscores the idea of extraordinary occurrences and supernatural events as precursors to the end times. However, whether in biblical or Islamic narratives, the symbolism of locusts as a sign of divine judgment invites believers to reflect on their actions, seek repentance, and turn to spiritual preparedness. Both traditions emphasize the importance of righteousness, ethical conduct, and adherence to divine guidance in the face of impending eschatological events. What about storms as a sign of end times? In the Judeo-Christian tradition, the concept of catastrophic storms as precursors to significant eschatological events is deeply rooted in biblical narratives. The apocalyptic book of Revelation, attributed to John the Apostle, is rich with symbolic imagery, including cataclysmic storms. Revelation chapter 6 verses 12, 17 describes cosmic disturbances and people's reactions to these extraordinary events. Here, storms become part of the apocalyptic imagery, signaling the unfolding of eschatological events. Also, in Islamic eschatology, signs of the end times, known as Ashrat as Sa'a, are drawn from hadiths attributed to Prophet Muhammad. So, while the Quran and hadiths contain general references to natural disasters and cosmic phenomena, direct correlations to storms and the Kaaba may require interpretative insight. However, for some, these occurrences are seen to have divine connections, which incites a wake-up call for individuals to draw nearer to their God as the end of time approaches. For others, it is a cause of concern that the Kaaba may have been destroyed multiple times and so may not exist. But how true is this? Was the Kaaba ever destroyed? What is threatening the existence of the Kaaba? The Kaaba, Islam's sacred and holiest structure, has stood as a symbol of unity and devotion for over a millennium. While the Kaaba has undergone reconstructions and renovations throughout history, it has not been entirely destroyed. Muslims' reverence for the Kaaba and its enduring presence in Mecca play a pivotal role in the Islamic faith. According to Islamic belief, under divine guidance, Ibrahim played a crucial role in constructing the Kaaba as a house of worship dedicated to the one true God. Now let's go down memory lane. Before the advent of Islam, the Kaaba was already a revered sanctuary in the region of Mecca. Local tribes would visit the Kaaba for pilgrimage and perform various rituals around the sacred structure. However, over time the Kaaba became cluttered with idols and artifacts representing different deities, compromising its original purpose. So in the early 7th century, Prophet Muhammad received the call to prophethood, and his mission was to restore the monotheistic worship associated with the Kaaba. The Prophet's efforts faced resistance from the Quraysh, the dominant tribe in Mecca, who were custodians of the Kaaba. However, despite the challenges, Prophet Muhammad peacefully reconsecrated the Kaaba in 630 CE after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. The idols and artifacts were removed, and the Kaaba was restored to its original purpose as a house of worship for the one true God. It might interest you that the Kaaba has undergone various renovations and reconstructions over the centuries to ensure its structural integrity. Most of these efforts occurred during the early Islamic period and, more recently, in modern times. During the time of the Caliphate of Abdullah ibn Zubair, a grandson of Caliph Abu Bakr, the Kaaba faced damage due to flooding. Ibn Zubayr took the initiative to rebuild and expand the structure, reinforcing its foundations and maintaining its sacred geometry. Consequently, Caliph al-Mamun of the Abbasid Caliphate undertook significant renovations to address wear and tear. 
During this period, the Kaaba was adorned with silk and gold drapery, emphasizing its significance as a revered center of Islamic worship. However, during the Ottoman era, various renovations and expansions were carried out to accommodate the increasing number of pilgrims. The Ottoman Sultan Murad IV also reinforced the Kaaba's structure in the 17th century. Interestingly, in modern times, the Saudi government has overseen several renovations and expansions to accommodate the growing number of pilgrims performing Hajj and Umrah. The latest major renovation took place in 2013, involving the replacement of the Kaaba's Kiswa, the black cloth covering, and expanding the Mataf area around the Kaaba. While historical records and Islamic narratives are clear about the reconstructions and renovations, there are occasional controversial incidents and unverified claims that suggest more drastic events, such as the complete destruction of the Kaaba. Some stories may circulate, suggesting that external forces destroyed or targeted the Kaaba. However, these claims lack credible historical evidence and are often rooted in conspiracy theories rather than factual accounts. The Kaaba's endurance through reconstructions and renovations emphasizes its resilience as a sacred structure inviting believers to reflect on the continuity of faith and the enduring message of monotheism. The reverence Muslims hold for the Kaaba extends beyond its physical presence, encapsulating the spiritual significance it holds in the hearts of believers worldwide. The Kaaba's rich history reflects the profound journey of faith, from its construction by Prophet Ibrahim and Prophet Ismail to its reconsecration by Prophet Muhammad. The Kaaba symbolizes the timeless unity of the Muslim Ummah and the enduring connection between humanity and the divine. So it is said that while the Kaaba has witnessed renovations and expansions over the centuries, it has never been entirely destroyed. Its sacred geometry, aligned with the heavens, remains a focal point for Muslims, guiding them in prayer and uniting them in worship. The Kaaba's enduring presence underscores its eternal significance in the hearts and souls of believers making it a symbol of unity, devotion, and unwavering commitment to the worship of the one true God. Consequently, over the years, controversies have arisen regarding the impact of Wahhabi influence on the religious practices around the Kaaba. Some critics argue that Wahhabism's strict interpretation has led to the removal of certain rituals and practices traditionally associated with the pilgrimage to Mecca. The Wahhabi influence brought about a serious interpretation of Islamic practices, challenging some long-standing traditions associated with the veneration of saints and tombs. Wahhabism emphasized a literal interpretation of Islamic texts and discouraged practices deemed potential deviations from pure monotheism. This included aspects of Sufi mysticism and certain traditions observed around the Kaaba, Wahhabi authorities have been accused of altering the area around the Kaaba and discouraging certain acts that were part of the rich culture of Islamic traditions. However, while Wahhabism has sought to purify Islamic practices, traditional beliefs among Muslims emphasize the eternal sanctity of the Kaaba. The Quranic verses and prophetic traditions affirm the permanence of the Kaaba as the Qibla, the direction Muslims face during prayers. However, despite the changes brought about by Wahhabi influence, the Kaaba remains at the center of the Islamic world. It is a focal point for all believers to pay more attention and draw closer to God. It is again a wake-up call for humanity to hasten their belief in God and engage in good deeds before their time. The Bible clarifies that the consequence of sin is death, and this is majorly the eternal death, an eternal separation from God. So, in the wake of these happenings in Kaaba, individuals are encouraged to forsake their evil ways and acknowledge the one true God through whom is eternal redemption forever after this age. We've come to the end of this video. What do you think about Kaaba and its existence? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more.